I just finished evaluating the new gadget for the professor and we've sent it over to you. You'll find it in the training room. As the professor's already told you, if you don't complete the training, you can't advance to the next area. Good luck. Well, if he's already told me, then why are you telling me? Casey, or whatever your name is. Okay, the RC car is like the slingshot. Push L3 or... <laughs> push R3 or the button that you assigned it to. To, uh... Um... Get a new car. You really don't need to do that unless it's trapped somewhere. Or if it gets destroyed. Actually, you don't never get trapped anywhere, because... Yeah, see? <laughs> It can't really get trapped anywhere because it goes through little pockets. Well, pockets like these. So yeah, if it's trapped, you could just put it through the little pocket again. Spike, something has gone terribly wrong. The professor and Natalie are nowhere to be found. The laboratory has been ransacked, and much of the equipment has been destroyed. The apes were here, and I believe they've taken the Professor and Natalie away with them. We are now getting transported to Spectre's base area. His exact location is unknown. All I can tell you at this time is that his base is an old factory building located in the middle of town somewhere. Spectre's taken it over and is now using it to manufacture weapons. But first, before you head over to the base, find the energy storehouse. Storehouse is the heart of Spectre's factory. By destroying this, he'll shut down all the power to his base. The energy storehouse is hidden somewhere within a nearby park. Please hurry! The professor and Natalie may be in great danger. One more thing: the base has a heavy and very powerful security system that will not be affected by the power shutdown. So be careful. So yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of AIDS. <laughs> now that factory that she talked about, that is actually the next level. And it's one of the levels I really hate. <laughs> Yeah, I hate quite a few levels in this game, and they're mostly the later ones. But they have awesome tracks. Now, this is another thing I hate. The monkeys can destroy your car. <laughs> be. I think there's a white one up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, but he doesn't have a gun. So. I think almost all of the yellow ones are going to have guns now. Wait, wait, be careful in this area because, well, that thing. Here's the thing I hate about these bigger enemies. Look at this. Actually, that's more than they usually give me. But still, they don't give you much at all. Typically, you would get a lot more than that. 
Or maybe I'm just thinking of the second game, I don't know. But with bigger enemies, you should expect to get a lot. But it did give me a, a life, so, meh. There's gonna be enemies bigger than that thing? That only give me a few, uh, chips and, uh, maybe some more ammo. Don't shoot at me! Ah! Get away from me! Ugh. I'm not gonna bother with that guy either. Oh crap. I'm so dead. Come on, get out! This level has one of the most annoying platforming sessions. <laughs> Sections. Yeah. Where'd that stupid monkey go? Maybe I can trip him up. Whew. Is there an opening? Maybe there is. Yeah, if you want to get that red monkey that was shooting at me, go that way. I'm going this way. Oh, I hate this. It's relatively easy to get through. Actually, fall on purpose if you want to get one of the monkeys. See, he's right here. And of course, he has a gun. <laughs> Ugh, they all have guns. Except the blue ones. Yeah, I think the blue ones are gonna be the only ones that don't have guns. And sometimes the white ones. But I only have one cookie left. Ugh. And the only enemies here are those stupid purple things. And I don't like killing them because they split up into more purple things. <laughs> And with the extra ones jumping around, it's hard to kill them without getting hit. In fact, I should probably stop trying. <laughs> I only have one hit left. That's right, kids. You gotta start eating your cookies. It's like World of Illusion, where your health is, uh... Your health is candy. I think if you want full health, you have to pick up cake. <laughs> Come on, get over here. Oh, no. Yeah, how long did I stop doing it? Well, I have 16 lives. Unfortunately, they get really generous with the lives, so, yeah, it's like they knew that we would have a hard time. Game makers are evil. Yeah, we made this part kind of hard, so, uh... Yeah, here's lots and lots of lives. Wait, I don't need them. Done! Oh, that fan there in the back. Don't know if you can see that. But I would have to get past that, I think, to get two or three of them. And Natalie and the professor are gone. Yeah, I know I said that.